Hello everyone. In the continuation of uh, the coding of the stacks, we will be discussing about how to reverse a given string using the stack. So if you remember in the last lecture, we have discussed about uh, the uh, stack basics, wherein we have uh, defined the functions related to the stacks, the primitive operations on the stacks were defined in, the, in that lecture. So one of the operations was initialize, another one was push function, another one was the pop function, and the last one was the stack top. The initialization was doing the initialization of the stack and we were setting up the top pointer of the stack as minus one. The push operation was inserting an element at the top of the stack first by uh, incrementing the top position and then at the incremented top position it was inserting the given element. Similarly for the pop operation it was uh, doing the uh, extraction of an item from the top of the stack and after the extraction it uh, decrements the top pointer by minus one. The stack top was uh, just reading out the element from the top of the stack and was returning that element. So now in this lecture we will be uh, uh, making use of these functions and uh, to making use of this function just to reverse the given string and uh, since the string is the combination of the collection uh, combination of the characters the collection of the characters that's why instead of uh, having the integer item of the stack we are considering that it will be kept taking the character item. So the item, the type of the item array has now been changed to character. So uh, the changes will be made to everywhere where we are trying to insert or remove an element. So it will now change the character item for the insertion. Similarly, when we will be removing an element from the stack, so the return type of the pop operation will also be character. This also needs to change to character. In the stack top also, whenever we will be reading an element from the top of the stack, that will be of character type and we need to return that element. So the return type of this function would be character. Okay. Now, we uh, shall write all these functions, uh, we shall all write all these calling functions uh, again. So we need a stack. So we have just declared that uh, we have a stack named as S and then we need to initialize this stack such that uh, the top pointer is initialized to or top index is initialized to minus one. After this uh, we are taking a string from this from the user let's say the name of the string is str. Let us declare this string as character str. Let's say the maximum size of this string could be 10. We can change the size according to whatever we need is. Please remember that accordingly you will have to change the size of the stack as well. Having uh, taken the initial uh, input from the user, now uh, we need to scan the inputs of this string one by one. And for the purpose of uh, uh, doing uh, for pushing it on the stack, for example, let's say we have pkhilvsh is my name, and uh, this has been stored in some string. So, if it has been stored in the string, the last character of this string would be null by default. Okay, so uh, the characters that we that are there in this string are a k h i l e s and h. So, uh, if we push all these characters so one by one in the stack, let's say A is pushed first, and then K is pushed first, then H is pushed first, then next, then I, then L, then E, then S, then H. We will leave the, uh, the null character. So, every character uh, of this, this string was pushed to the stack, and the top of the stack is H. Now, if I remove this H and store it, uh, store it there in the second string, so H is the character that we have removed from the stack and that has been stored as the first character in the second string. Similarly, the top of the stack now is S. So if I remove this S and I store it as the second character in the new string, then I remove the top of the stack that is E, then we store it as a next character in the, next, uh, in the second string. On the top of the stack I remove L and then I store it as a next character in the next string, when I remove i, 
then I remove patch and then I remove this game and then I finally remove this A and so it is a last character in the string so this H S E L I H K A has become the reversible string okay uh, there are some of the basics that you need to understand and we will be discussing that a bit later when we while doing the coding so a string you have already taken in the str and then you have initialized this stack by calling the uh, initialize function we have the string we have the um, stack available with us which has been initialized now what we need to do is to scan this string one by one and every character needs to be pushed on the stack okay for the for that i need a loop counter so let's say the loop counter is i and uh, this i needs to initialize needs to be initialized to zero because uh, the first character or the first item the array or the first item of the string can be accessed at a zero index now uh, the terminating condition of this loop has to be where cri is not a cotendal character We need to push the string character in the stack. So in the stack as I need to insert this string character. After this, I need to update this i to point to next uh, element or uh, next index in the string. If I have already taken the zero index character, I need to go to the first index character. I have taken the one index character then I need to go to the second index character and so on and so forth. So at the end of this loop I have pushed all the items of the string in the stack. Now this was the original string. Let's take another string. Let's say the name of that string is answer. This could also be of the same size as that of the original string. Now every time uh, we, we I'm sorry we have the items in the stack and uh, we will be popping these elements of the stack we will add those items in the answer string. So I will be doing this uh, operation or I will be removing the element from the stack by the time we have the elements in the stack. So uh, by the time s dot top is not equal to minus 1. Or you can say we were writing another function let's say. This function is let's say empty function. By the time we have elements in the stack we will be removing those elements means if the stack is not empty, if y not empty s, we will be removing the element. So let's say removing the element by calling the power function. And this removed element will be added in the answer string. So in the answer string you add the jth index, this x character will be added. We need to work with the j also. So let's say j is taken as integer, that is the index of the array and initialized to 0. At the very first, we need to store the element at the 0 index. And then we need to update this j such that the next element will be taken at the 1 index, and so on and so forth. By the time uh, stack is not empty, we will be doing the pop operation on the stack and we'll be adding that element in the answer string. Okay. Now, uh, once this uh, answer string has been formed, since this is the string and we have just added uh, these characters H S E L I K H A, so this has not become the string or this will not become the string until we add a null character at the end. So, a null character at the end is required to be added as a last character. So, once, once this loop will finish in this answer array at the last index or in the answer string at the last index we will be adding this null character okay. now the string is prepared you can just print this string in there the first string is percentile s and the name of the string is answer so you can print this string like this. Now we 
we have uh, used the empty function so we need to we will have we need to define this empty function let's define this empty function which i either returns true or false and uh, let's say the true is defined by one and false is defined by zero so the condition would be if s dot top is equals to minus one if the string is uh, means the stack is empty because this is the invalid index of the array so return one means true else if the stack top is not minus one it will be at some positive uh, location so in that case the string will, uh, the stack will be containing some items so stack is not empty so i'll return zero that is an indication of the false so this empty function either returns true or false it means one or zero if the stack is not empty it will return zero if the stack is empty means top is minus one it will return a true means one so now come back here again where by the time stack is not empty i am popping an element one by the time uh, there are elements in this stack i will be popping that, those items and will add that to the answer is string and once the stack becomes empty our work is done okay now in this empty function i have passed this stack so we need to write it uh, write write the stack as as an order into this function but please remember that we are not making any changes by the empty function empty is just a check so uh, we are not making any changes through this function that's why we have not done call by reference the call by value of work let's execute this this x is undefined we need to define this as a character this part as a name ps capital for function we need to pass this s And just everything is fine. Now let us run this program and uh, let's say a delicious string taken. And you can see that HSELI HKA is a string which is returned. You can take another string as well. That is the string we are sticking and why we are wrong. Is the reverse string. So this way you can reverse the given string using this time. Thank you.